Hey folks, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into the top 10 formulas you need so you can pass your real estate exam. I'm Maggie Reyoso, your trusty guide through this math-packed adventure. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on any of our real estate wisdom. All right, guys, I know you're eager to pass your exam and ready to learn, so let's dive right in. For the following examples, we're going to use the T-chart method. If you're not familiar with the T-chart, I'll drop a link in the comments below to a video all about this amazing method that literally takes the guesswork out of whether you have to multiply or divide. It is a total game changer. Okay, let's begin. Formula number one, commissions. Commission equals sales price times commission rate. Imagine you're selling a property for $300,000 and your commission rate is 5%. How much will you earn? Using the T-chart, we see that we can place the sales price of $300,000 in the total column and the 5% in the percent column. Change the percent to a decimal by dividing by 100, so that equals 0 0.05. Now, all you do is multiply. So $300,000 times 0 0.05 gives you a commission of $15,000. Formula number two, capitalization rate. Capitalization rate equals net operating income divided by the market value times 100. Let's calculate the cap rate for a property with an annual income of $50,000 and a value of $600,000. Here we can place the $600,000 value of the property in the total column and the annual income of $50,000 in the part section on top. Now you just divide. That gives you a total of 0 0.08 Three, three. Now you have to convert that decimal to a percent. So multiply 0 0.0833 by 100 and you get a cap rate of 8.33%. Formula number three, loan to value ratio. Loan amount divided by market value times 100 equals loan to value ratio. Say you're financing a property with a loan amount of $200,000 and the property's value is $250,000. What is your loan to value ratio? Okay, so we can place the property value of $250,000 in the total column and the $200,000 loan amount in the part section on top. And now you divide $200,000 by the property value of $250,000, and that equals 0 0.8. Now we got to change that decimal to a percent, so we just multiply by 100, and you get a loan-to-value ratio of 80%. Formula number four, down payment percentage. Down payment amount divided by sales price times 100 equals down payment percentage. Okay, let's say you're financing a property with a loan amount of $200,000 and the property's value is $250,000. Just subtract the loan amount from the property value to find the down payment. So $250,000 minus $200,000 equals $50,000. Now, in the T-chart, the $50,000 will go in the part section and the property value of $250,000 goes in the total column. Divide the down payment amount by the property value, then multiply by 100 and you have a down payment percentage of 20%. Now let's speed through the rest. Formula number five, property taxes. Assessed value of property times tax rate equals annual property tax. Say you're evaluating a property with an assessed value of $350,000 and a tax rate of 1.5%. Multiply 
calculate the annual property tax. For this one, the answer is $5,250. Do you need more information on this concept? I'll drop a link to a video all about calculating property taxes in the description box below. Formula number six, price per square foot. Property price divided by total square footage equals price per square foot. Okay, so a house is listed for $280,000 and has a total area of 1,800 square feet. What's the price per square foot? So we're just gonna divide $280,000 by 1,800 and if you get $155.56 per square foot, you are correct. Formula number seven, loan constant. Debt service or monthly payment divided by loan amount equals your loan constant. Say you've secured a loan of $150,000 at an interest rate of 4.5%. Calculate the monthly payment using a loan constant of 0.00834. In this scenario, you just multiply. If you got $1,251, you are a smart cookie. Formula number eight, gross rent multiplier. Property price divided by annual rental income equals gross rent multiplier. A commercial property generates an annual rental income of $60,000 and is priced at $800,000. Determine the gross rent multiplier. All right, so here we're just going to divide $800,000 by $60,000 and that gives us a gross rent multiplier of 13.33. Want more gross rent multiplier examples? I'll link a video below for you to check out. Formula number nine, area of shapes. Area of a rectangle or square equals base times height. Area of a triangle equals base times height divided by two. A triangular lot has a base of 40 feet and a height of 12 feet. Calculate its area. Just remember this simple little trick, that a triangle is half of a square. That's why in the formula, you have to divide by two. So in this example, all we have to do is multiply 40 by 12, which gives us 480 square feet, then divide 480 by two, and we get a total square footage of 240. Need more information on this? Check out the video I linked below for a full video all about calculating area in real estate. Formula number 10, proration. Annual tax amount divided by days in a year, which is usually 360 or 365 days, equals price per day. Then price per day times days till closing equals your prorated amount owed by or debited to the seller. Say you're selling a property and the annual property tax is $4,800. The closing date is September 15th and the buyer will be responsible for the day of closing. How much will the seller be debited on the closing disclosure? First thing you gotta get is the annual tax amount of $4,800 and divide it by 365. That's gonna equal $13 point one five zero six eight four next we find out how many days the seller owned the property for that year so from january 1st till september 14 since the buyer owns the day of closing that makes it a total of 257 days the seller owned the property for that year then just multiply thirteen dollars point one five zero six eight four times 257 days, and you get a total of $3,379.73. And of course, if you need more help on this concept, I'll drop another link in the description box below on a video I made all about proration. And there you have it, folks, the top 10 formulas to master for your real estate exam. Stay tuned after this video for more information on how you can boost your math skills. If you enjoyed this crash course, hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Just Call Maggie, for more real estate insights. Until next time, 
Keep crunching those numbers and happy studying. If you're looking to elevate your math understanding and boost your chances of acing the real estate exam, I wanna share something special with you. Introducing Math Skills for Real Estate Success, your ultimate companion to mastering real estate math packed with comprehensive exercises, step-by-step -step explanations, and invaluable tips. This workbook is designed to help you conquer any math challenge that comes your way. Head over to justcallmaggie.com forward slash shop and grab your copy today. Trust me, this workbook will be your secret weapon in becoming a math wits in the world of real estate.